want you to behave yourself. I will. I'm talking to your father. Hey, you can count on me. Me too. Sure, guys. Where's my Emily? Grandma! Grandpa! I recognize Joey, but who's this stranger? It's me, Grandpa. Daddy said it would be funny. I'll give you funny. <laughs> How are you doing, Joey? I'm hanging in there. Funny, huh? You're funny. Well, I see you managed to find her another outrageous outfit. You know she dresses herself. I think you do it just to aggravate me. <laughs> He's always nervous when he comes here. You're all right, but Mom... Your mother is the most honest person I know. She is exactly who she is, and she never tries to hide it. Besides, you know her bark is worse than her bite. She said she'd skin you if you married him, and you're still here. <laughs> he kind of grows on you. And he makes you and Emily happy, which is what really matters. Yeah. Yes! He does do that. May I have a cookie, please? Yes, you may. Thank you. You're welcome. So, how's school going? I have my own notebook to write in. Good for you. And your mommy still picks you up from school every day, right? She does. We go in the bus. You have some great-looking trees back here. You could build some fantastic tree houses. And she never lets you get on the bus alone, does she? I know how to go in the bus. Guess what? It's my birthday soon. And you're going to be six. <laughs> what do you want for your birthday? A ride in a balloon. <laughs> I want you to take this. No. You're still my baby, even if you are grown and have one of your own. Dad. Come on. You wouldn't take it last time. What's the point of my working so hard if I can't share a little of it with someone I love? Do it for me. So I'll feel better. You drive a hard bargain, you know that. Thanks, Dad. Are you playing the piano at all, sweetheart? Just for fun? You have so much talent, I'll just never understand why you don't use it to play decent music. Mommy, I need you to help me. I just wish you could understand that everybody doesn't need to be like you to be happy. Imhan, what did you want to show me? Ooh, ooh, yes, yes, yes. Guess who's not buying the beers tonight? It's not over yet, Cutter. There's no way you can beat me, Mayhew. That married guy gets the night out, he goes crazy. Well, she only lets him out once a week. Oh. It's luck, Mayhew, nothing but luck. So what time does the warden want you back? Well, I'll bet he's gotta be home by 10 o'clock. Buck says 9.30. Hey, I do what I want, all right? into the door. Did you have a good time? Oh, I was unbeatable. <laughs> How are the boys? They're good. They said hello. What time is it? It's 1.30. You have work tomorrow, Joey. So what? I can stay out late if I want to. I spent the whole day with your folks and didn't complain. When it's something for you or for them or for Emily, there's no problem with it. But when it's something for me, there's a problem with it. So get off my back. All I'm saying is you got to get up at 6.30 for work. I'll be up.
you ever sorry we got married so young? So, for a while, a few years ago, not anymore, are you? Sometimes I look at my life and I just can't believe it. I'm a father. I have people depending on me. Sometimes it feels like it's going to roll me right over and knock me flat. I feel that way too sometimes. Everybody does, I think. Whatever we don't know, we'll learn, Joey. Whatever it takes, we'll do it. Okay, charity auction for the Youth Symphony. I got that. This Saturday at 8 p.m. Yeah. I understand. Dress informal. Anyone can attend. Why can I see them? You can sometimes. Then where are they? They sleep in the daytime. Look, Emily, we need to talk. It's about your mommy. Is she working? Is that why you picked me up at school? No, she's not working. They said it was called an aneurysm. Something in her head. There was no way to know what was going to happen, they said. And there was nothing anybody could do. She just stopped living. In a second, she just stopped. They said it was like she went to sleep. But where is she? She's dead. Who's gonna help me with my schoolwork? Does that mean I can't see her? Touch don't work, okay? Yeah, we'll do something. Come on, Emily, it's time for your nap. There were a lot of people.
exhausted. You shouldn't have taken her to the cemetery, Joe. She wanted to see where they were putting her mother. She has to be protected from all that. It's not good for her. I know this is hard. I know you don't have any family. But you've got to let us help. No problem. I can tell time, you know. We'll stop for something on the way to school. What about my lunch? Right, right. Peanut butter and jelly was always one of my personal favorites. I usually get lettuce and cheese or lettuce and bologna. I get a piece of fruit and a carrot. I always get a carrot. Well, we'll go shopping tonight. It has to be zero waste. Sure, okay, zero waste, no problem. What's zero waste? It has to be a clock knocking. Mommy keeps them over there. And the food has to be put in something that I can bring home and use again. Mommy keeps them over there. Anything else? My lunchbox. You're supposed to drink your juice. But I didn't like it. But it's good for you. See, it's got vitamins and minerals in it. You're a kid. You need that. If I drink it, can I have a sweet roll? No. You need to eat your cereal. I'll tell you what. How about you just drink it down to that line? Then maybe we'll work something out on the sweet roll. <laughs> 